power. Never tell the activists to sit down or shut up. They will only fight back harder. This was exemplified in force at Willard Hall on the campus of Cornell University in 1969, when representatives of the Black Panther Party and various black students occupied the hall for 36 hours by force in a show of protest. After intense negotiations, the students agreed to relinquish control of the building, exiting through the front where they were photographed by photojournalist Steve Starr. In contrast to the lawless images we see of gang members wielding guns under bandana hidden faces at present, these activists are unafraid to show both their faces and their weapons. They are clearly well-dressed, well-kept, well-educated members of society who have been pushed beyond their limits. They know what they want, and they know that if all else should fail, that they are willing to die for their beliefs. None of the protesters are afraid. Some have subdued expressions about them, but far from defeat. The man in the center exudes confidence and pride in his status as a black man at a time when such pride was still very controversial in America. He unapologetically holds his rifle high, his bullet belt fully loaded, ready to defend his beliefs by any means necessary. Equality for all races would grow rapidly in the following years, but still, we have a long, long way to go. Oppressed people still exist in great numbers in modern American society. As long as these people exist, the power of protest and activism will continue and must continue to thrive.